In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, <coughs> multipliers. So, multiplication is a very expensive and it is a slow operation. Uh, the performance of this uh, uh, is dominated by the speed at which a multiplication operation can be executed. So, the multiplication operation is nothing but a uh, complex adder array so if it is performed uh, properly the multiplication operation becomes uh, effective so let me assume that uh, two unsigned uh, binary numbers which is x and y okay x and y uh, which are of uh, m and n bits okay so here uh, i have taken uh, both uh, m and n are uh, same okay so uh, m and n is equal to 4 that is it ranges from 0 to 3 okay so m is your uh, 3 is your uh, uh, msb and uh, uh, 0 is your lsb so I am going to get Z. So the Z uh, it would ranges from uh, zero to seven. Okay, that is uh, you will have a uh, uh, totally eight bits. Okay, at the output by performing a multiplication with respect to X and Y. Okay. So, if I perform the multiplication, uh, we are going to get uh, partial products. So, so the each partial product is generated by multiplying the multiplicand with the multiplier. Okay. So, this all the partial product which is generated at the same time and it is organized in the array. The multi operant uh, addition is applied to the to compute the final product. So, after generating this partial product, you can see nearly uh, this is your one partial product. So, totally you have uh, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16 partial product. So, I have generated a 16 partial product by multiplying with this number. Why not? if it is multiplied with x0 x1 x2 x3 this is your first row next y1 is multiplied with x0 x1 x2 x3 that is your second row so likewise i have generated four rows and after that i am going to add the uh, the partial product okay so this set of operation can be mapped directly into the hardware and uh, the resulting structure is, uh, is called as a array multiplier okay so first we have uh, generated the partial product after that uh, we have accumulate accumulation of the partial product finally we are going to add the uh, partial product so So let me uh, explain to you the how to uh, draw this array multiplier. Okay. So for generating this uh, x naught y naught, we need uh, one and and gate, right? And gate in order to generate x naught and y naught. So similarly, I require 16 and gate in order to generate uh, this uh, 16 partial product. Okay. So first, uh, you can see this is your and gate uh, where um, I have used uh, nearly uh, 16 AND gates in order to generate the bits x naught y naught okay x naught y naught this is your x naught y naught right and this is your y x1 y naught so after uh, um, x naught y naught is nothing but your uh, x naught z naught right next i am going to add uh, x1 y0 with uh, x0 y1 i am going to add x1 y0 with uh, x0 y1 
so if i add so for adding the two bit i required a half adder okay so if i add i will get a sum and the carry carry i'm going to um, uh, i am going to pass it to the next uh, in the horizontal way i am passing the carry so this is your carry okay so carry i'm going to pass it to the uh, next uh, bit that is next full adder for x2 y0 x2 y0 and x1 y1 x1 y1 okay so for adding the three bit because this carry sum i am going to get it in the z1 z1 this is your sum and carry i am going to pass it to the next uh, adder so since uh, i have i am going to add uh, i required to add a uh, three bit i am using a full adder okay similarly the sum is given to the uh, x not y not x not y2 okay so for this one i required a, uh, i can i require only a half adder because i am going to add a two bit okay so it will generate a sum which is called as z2 and the carry i am going to pass it to the uh, in the horizontal way okay for the next uh, value okay so this is how they have organized uh, uh, the array multiplier you can see uh, for um, uh, for adding this one you required a, a full adder for this one you required a half adder okay so similar manner uh, for the next stage uh, for this one you required a uh, half adder and uh, for adding uh, these three bits okay um, uh, yeah, x1 and y2 and uh, and um, carry of uh, the sum of this uh, bit and uh, carry from the uh, this one okay so for this one you, you require a full adder after that uh, you have to multiply add it with uh, uh, y x naught and y3 right so for that one you require a half adder Okay, so this is how they have uh, organized the uh, structure. You can see the carry is uh, towards the horizontal, uh, it is passed through the horizontal way and some uh, getting in the uh, vertical. Vertical uh, line uh, represent the sum and uh, horizontal line represent the carry. Okay. So, you can see this carry bit is uh, uh, we have to give this carry to a uh, this one right um, this i have to pass the carry to the next stage right so i have given to this one so this get transferred to a uh, this get uh, uh, change to a full adder okay so similar way uh, this uh, this output is given to a uh, the next stage of the half adder so it becomes stained to a uh, full adder okay so next uh, next point is we need to find the uh, critical path okay so let me assume that um, for uh, for generation of uh, and gate it required one 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 second okay for generation of carry it will take one uh, one second for generation of sum it require one second so uh, output of the um, unders one because uh, um, all the und gate result is produced at a uh, same time so all the output is one so that is given to a half adder so in order to generate the sum 1 plus 1 is 2 because for generating the and gate and gate result it will take one second to generate the sum it will take another one second so it is sum is 2 and carry is also 2 okay so here um, uh, already they have taken two second right so 2 plus 1 is 3 okay again uh, 2 plus 1 is uh, 3 for carry okay so this one uh, they have taken 4 4 and this is 5 5 okay so similarly you can see this is taking a uh, 4 
and this is taking also 4 okay so this is 5 5 and this is 6 6 6 okay in similar way this is 7 7 So you can see uh, which which one is a uh, critical path. Critical path is a max maximum uh, delay path. Okay. So the T carry is a propagation delay between the input and the output carry, and T sum is the delay between the input carry and the uh, sum bit of the full adder, and T and is the delay of the AND gate. So you can see the critical path length is. Uh, uh, so for same length okay so uh, you can see if we, if we propagate in uh, any direction both every uh, uh, you can find it uh, the maximum time it is taking is 9 okay so how come uh, for this one we have to write our own formula so the critical path timing is equal to T and uh, that is for uh, AND gate. Next uh, for generating the um, sum. So let me take this path. This path is your maximum delay path. So if you see uh, totally how many carry uh, is generated. 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 and 5. So 5 um, carry and um, sum path is vertical path. 1, 2 3 so i can write m minus 1 m minus 1 is m value is 4 so m minus 1 is um, uh, 3 so likewise i can write uh, 5 uh, 5 carry is there 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 carry is there so i can write it as 4 minus 1 plus 4 minus 2 okay so here uh, already the m and m is same so there is no problem okay uh, we are multiplying a 4 cross 4 multiply if, uh, if i am substituting 4 cross 3 if i am multiplying 4 cross 3 multiplier then this formula get changed right so the critical path is uh, uh, a formula is this one so this uh, this all the critical path is having a same time okay there are a lot of critical paths are available in the in this one and you can see how many uh, adders are required so totally uh, I'm, I'm using nearly 12 uh, adders so i can write it as n into n minus 1 adders are required for the array multiplier okay so that's all about the video uh, thank you very much for your patient listening thank you